Amazon Chime is your all-in-one solution for collaboration. This video shows you how to collaborate with Amazon Chime Chat. There are three chat types, one-on-one -on -one messages, group messages, and chat rooms. All of these chat types can be accessed on the left navigation area on Amazon Chime desktop apps and in the Messages and Rooms tab on mobile apps. Use one-on-one -on -one messages to chat directly with a colleague. Use group messages to communicate the same thing to multiple people. Use chat rooms to hold conversations with your colleagues in a less direct manner. Chat rooms are like discussion boards for topic areas or teams. Some customers use chat rooms for their teams to collaborate on projects. Others use chat rooms during escalations and invite necessary members to participate in the discussion. Team members transitioning on from the next time zone can catch up on what happened while they were away. Chat rooms are always private meaning a member must be added to the chat room to view messages and participate. There are common features across all Amazon Chime chat types. Amazon Chime supports sharing attachments, up to 50 megabytes, so you can share documents, presentations, and photos as you talk about them. Drag and drop your file into the chat field, type a message, and press Return to Send. or choose Attachment to share a file from your device. Images that are shared appear as thumbnails in the thread, while other document types are linked for download. Amazon Chime supports emoticons and emojis across all chat types. Amazon Chime supports common emoji codes that follow the format colon word colon. For instance, colon fire colon turns into a flame emoji. Amazon Chime also autocompletes most face emoticons. For instance, 8 close parentheses results in a smiley face with sunglasses. To prevent autocomplete, add forward slash code to the beginning of the text entry. For instance, forward slash code space 8 close parentheses does not result in a face with sunglasses. Forward slash code also changes the text to a monospaced font and does not autocomplete URLs. Other common features across Amazon Chime chat types include the ability to adjust font size, search, and persistent chat threads across all your devices, not just the ones you are logged into. Read a message on one device, and it is marked as read on all your others. Now, let's explore the Amazon Chime interface. In the Recent Messages section, your latest one-on-one -on -one and group message threads are listed. These are threads that have been active in the last seven days. Amazon Chime displays a max of 25 chat threads in order of recent activity. You can close a recent message by hovering over the message and choosing the red X. Favorites allow you to organize chat threads. Select a one-on-one -on -one or group message thread from recent messages and choose the star icon to add them to favorites. Drag and drop your favorites to rearrange them. To remove a thread from favorites, choose the star again. A thread can either be in favorites or recent messages, but not in both. Amazon Chime also displays user availability. A red dot means that the person is busy on an Amazon Chime call or currently in a meeting. A green dot means that the person is available and on a desktop device. An orange dot means that the person is desktop idle. They have the Amazon Chime app open, but are currently away from their computer. If a green phone icon appears next to a person's name, then they have a mobile device enabled and you may be able to reach them. While they may not have the Amazon Chime app open, you can send them an app mention, one-on-one, -on -one, or group message. Amazon Chime sends them a push notification to get their attention. If a person's status is a gray circle, they have not been logged in for more than six days. If you see a gray lock next to a person, they have their privacy settings set to not share their availability with you. To take control of your availability, use the list next to your name. You can manually set whether you are available or busy. Let's chat! Initiate a one-on-one -on -one message by choosing the person's name in the left navigation pane, or choose Message and select a name from My Contacts. If you don't see your colleague's name under My Contacts, choose Add Contact and enter an email address. Amazon Chime sends an invite to your colleague if the email address is not already associated with an Amazon Chime account. To start a group message, choose Group Message and add users to the To field. Amazon Chime supports up to 50 users on a group message. All one-on-one -on -one and group messages are sent to your desktop app if it is the most active device. 
If you are away or on mobile, Amazon Chime sends push notifications to your mobile app. You see a status of sent when the Amazon Chime servers receive your message. Read receipts are displayed when your message has been read. Amazon Chime allows you to transition seamlessly from chat to a call and one-on-one -on -one in group messages. Start an instant meeting by choosing the phone receiver icon in the upper right of the thread. The other person in the one-on-one -on -one message or all other people in the group message are called. And that's how you chat with Amazon Chime. Communicate with your team seamlessly between chats and calls, use emoticons and emojis, and stay connected no matter which device you're on.